This is my long overdue review of a timeless 80s fantasy. The Labyrinth. All right, so in The Labyrinth, Jennifer Connelly is like 18 years old. I'm gonna say 18 because any younger than that and I start getting creepy, even though I think she's 17. And she's a dreamer, her head's in the clouds. She doesn't really like her life, namely her little brother. So one day she says, I wish the goblins would come and take you away right now, which happens to be the exact phrase you need to say for the goblins to come and take a baby away. After that, she's a bit like, oops. And David Bowie, who plays the Goblin King, appears with his bulge and he says, what's said is said. Which is his way of saying, too bad, so sad. And so he says, all right, you want him back? You have 13 hours to solve my labyrinth, get to my castle or he's gonna become one of us forever. And I'm not talking like a page on a book or something like that. That takes me 13 hours. No, this is like a land. It's a kingdom that he owns that's a labyrinth full of magic creatures and awesome. And so she embarks. And then we have a timeless fantasy movie that is memorable until the day you die. Honestly, I hadn't seen this movie since I was a little kid and I watched it like seven minutes ago. How timeless can a movie get? Seriously. You know what I think it is? It's a fantasy movie before they could just flood the frame and the screen with a bunch of CGI crap. Everything took time. Everything took heart. It was back when you made a fantasy movie, you really gave a shit. All the characters are memorable in this movie and they're like groundbreaking when they came out. There's a big dude who calls rocks. Smell. My favorite guys were those chilly down guys who could like pull their arms off and knock their heads off. Hey lady, it's against the rules to throw other people's heads. You're only allowed to throw your own head. It's awesome, although that scene is the only scene where you really notice the green screen. Like more than my green screen. Doesn't change the fact that it's timeless and they gave a shit. And the lesson in the movie is that Sarah, Jennifer Connelly, she takes everything for granted. And in this place, you can't. It's a magical place that's absolutely stacked against her. You cannot take anything for granted in the labyrinth. And the land, like the labyrinth is really, just, there's a lot of stuff to see in there. Everything from dungeons to the bog of eternal stench. And yes, we have the Bowie bulge. This is just what happens when David Bowie wears really skin tight pants. Although I just found out that David Bowie his son's the one who directed Source Code, so something came from the Bowie Bulge. So thank you, Bowie Bulge, for giving us good movies and for scarring my eyes as a child. But this movie really is an epic, timeless movie. At the end throwdown, when all the goblins are coming at them, it, it looks a little sloppy, but you get the feeling that the goblins are just like a bunch of dipshits anyway. So it's not gonna be like they're the Spartans from 300, like goblins have like an airtight phalanx or something. They're supposed to be idiots. And the soundtrack is badass in all of its 80s glory. I actually have the soundtrack. I feel like I'm preaching to the choir right now because is there anyone who's subscribe to me that actually has not seen The Labyrinth? If you haven't, watch it. The Labyrinth is not only awesome-tacular, it is timelessly awesome-tacular. I only say that because every time, you know, you remember a movie being good and then you watch it now and you're like, hey, it's good. There are some things that are a bit dated. The Labyrinth really isn't like that. I mean, yeah, some of the puppets are a little dated, but you love it every bit as much now as you did back then. I don't know if it's because it took me back, but I like to think it's just really good. You don't see stuff like that anymore. So it's on Netflix right now. You can stream it, watch The Labyrinth. And have you seen The Labyrinth? Have you seen it like now or when you were a kid? What did you think of it? What do you think of it? Comment below, let me know. We're helping hands. But if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.